Hi friends, our today topic is related to how to copy the existing uh, ground profile. Uh, that means when we created a long section, so we generally see that uh, there is an existing ground profile, and then we develop a design profile with reference to the existing ground profile. But uh, in gen, in general, what we can do the alternate thing is we can copy a ground profile like we need a cover of two meter, and that is constant as per the existing ground ground profile. So in that case, what we can do we can copy the existing ground profile and take a offset of two meter from the existing ground profile. and then create a new profile that is a design profile so i'll show you how we can do that things so first we will create an alignment create an alignment from object enter this now we can create a profile create surface profile we add this existing this is a existing ground profile so we add this one still i'm not giving the name or anything this, this is the way we can create next next and then we create a so if you see here there is a ground profile so what in general what is happening if we can copy this profile then you can see then there is a no we don't have any option to do these things so for this actually what why we do these things because uh, sometime when we create dry utilities for dry utilities uh we can do these things like we can create the, uh, the dry utilities by the help of the sub assembly and then we can run a corridor and in that corridor we use that thing so we don't use the pipe network for this one so here we can do or pressure network for this one so we can do one thing we can create a copy of this the design profile with a constant depth and then we can use that assembly so uh, what we can do for this one if we need to create a copy of this profile so we'll go to the profile view properties here what we can do we will make this one static apply okay you can see here this one now becomes a static so with this we can go to the geometry editor in the geometry editor we have an option of this one copy profile data so from this one what we need to do we need to create a new profile so we just and from here we can give the station range also so right now we need to create this for whole station so this is the okay if you will see here now there are two profiles so what we can do one thing we'll use this one this is the one we need a elevation change how much uh, right now i'll give a cover depth of 2 meter okay for the whole one so i'll create this one okay and uh, sorry uh we'll take a positive one so that's why it's go above so what we can do we can just uh, uh go with the same this editor will so uh, we'll create a copy of this and create a new profile okay so one more is created now what we can do will they take this one and elevation changes minus 2 because we need it's below the ground 
our utilities generally uh, run below the ground so for that we take minus 2 so we click ok and now it comes below the ground so here this is your design profile which is a constant same uh, with the same depth it is a 2 meter at every part if you can check it is a 2 meter at every depth so and you can see here from the starting to the end point so generally if you want uh, with a particular distance so you can choose that station range so this is the way you can create a copy of existing profile but for that you need to make it a static so if there is any kind of a change in the surface then that one uh, is not uh, like automatically updated because we make this profile existing surface as a static uh, when it's a dynamic at that time it will change but when we make it a static so at that time it will not change so it will come at a depth of 2 meter so if you can if you want to run your uh, dry utility so then what you can do the thing you can create an assembly and then create a corridor and run that assembly at this design profile so your pipe or whatever you will create a duct or whatever be the thing so that thing will run on this uh, design profile basically mm, hope i think uh, it will be understandable for you uh, hope you learn how to do these things actually uh, why i told you these things because i have also done a project in which uh, at that time i don't have any idea like how to create these things so what we at that time what we do we will create we will trace this one and then uh, move that design profile below this 2 meter so it takes a lot of time but now it would be very easy i think you will just click and make it 2 meter below uh, hope uh, it will make your work easy and it will be helpful for you if you uh, guys like my video then please uh, share this with your friends and subscribe my channel and please share your comments also because i have seen like people are watching my videos but didn't comment on this one so if you will guys comment then it would be great for me because i'll learn something from your comments like how it would be more useful for you or if i need to change something in my uh, this presentation method so i'll make some changes as per your convenience so that more and more people it will reach to more and more people and it will be like helpful for everyone so i thought it, this is the easiest uh, method to create this one and please share your comments please uh, like the videos because people are watching the videos but they didn't press the like button so uh, now i thought uh, like i assume like you guys will do some uh, share this video you'll subscribe my channel and you uh, it would like it would be helpful for you to develop your skills in civil 3d so thank you thanks a lot guys bye bye and have a nice day take care